We just went over what we we're going to work on today on our I can statement. Can somebody read it for me again? Yeah. Presley. I can make my writing fluent. What does that mean? We, because we talk about our reading being fluent all the time. But when we talk about our writing being fluent, that's a little bit different. What might that look like, Emily? Make our writing sound more like our talk, okay? Bryce, do you remember how we did that yesterday? So we make short sentences and we make big sentences. And did, um, we had two friends, Isaiah and Claire, yesterday that kind of did that. What did they use yesterday to make our sentences short and long? Isaiah, you want to tell us? Um, we did you, oh, you used the word and, which, does anybody remember what we call those special words? We had a little song we did, didn't we? No, but you're right, it starts with the k. Do you remember? Yeah, we're hooking up words and phrases and clauses. That's right, so we can use conjunctions to put our words together. Today, I'm going to read a little poem for us. And what I want you to listen for is how our um, author or our poet how she makes her poem kind of fluent, okay? Green is the grass and the leaves of trees. Green is the smell of a country breeze. Green is lettuce and sometimes the sea. Green is a grasshopper. Green is jade. Green is hiding in the shade. Green is an olive and a pickle. The sound of green is a water trickle. <coughs> Patience, what other kind of things did you see in your mind as I was reading that? So what kind of words was our poet using to help us see what green is? So let's go to the um, sentences that Mrs. Swan wrote on the board. Can I come to back to you in a minute? Okay. Uh, Malia, can you read the first one? My dog is white. My dog is white. James, can you read the next one? My dog is small. My dog is small. Cicely, the last one. You were working on that word, weren't you? It's a magic-y word. Magic-y. Magic-y. Mm -hmm. We did. Cute. My dog is cute. OK, so if I wanted to do what our poet did and kind of make our writing fluent, who can help me change my sentences? My sentences are very, they have a lot of information there, huh? My dog is white, my dog is small, my dog is cute. But is it a lot of fun to read? It's just kind of there, isn't it? Yeah. How can we make this different? How can we make this nice and fluent and interesting for the reader? Because you know my dog. I've shown you a picture of my dog, haven't I? Alexis. Caleb. You can leave the one, the like, top ones like that, but like in the middle line between small and cute, you could put an and. Oh. So I could say, my dog is white. Mm -hmm. Then I could put, my dog is small and my dog is cute. I could do that. I could put an and in there, huh? So what else would I have to do to that sentence? Um, I'd get rid of... This period or this period? The, the small period. The small period. So I'd get rid of that, write the word and. What would I have to do to this? Anybody know? Lee? Lee? Make it capitalized. Oh, make it. It's lowercase. all lowercase because it's not the beginning of a sentence anymore, is it? Okay? 
So that would do the trick. Can I do something else? Instead of starting every sentence with my dog, my dog, my dog, can I take some words out? Yeah, yeah. Pre oh, 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 Presley. You could take, um, <coughs> you could take some words out and put a comma. Okay, so how could I fix this and use one of my pronouns, he or she? X out the my. Okay, you say it to me and I'll write it. My dog is white. My dog is white. He is small. He is small. And cute. Oh, I love that. How about that? My dog is white. Period. Did you say he is small? Yeah. He is small and cute. Does that make it more fluent and easier for my reader? Remember when we're reading our stories back in the back and I say when you see a period you need to stop at it and take a breath. Think about what that sentence says. Okay, so now I'm going to be the reader and you listen to me and you tell me what you think might be a good way to make this nice and fluent, okay? Okay. My cousin's dog is gold, is big and cute. And you had a period. Did I talk, stop and take a breath? I didn't. You want me to try again? Okay. My cousin's dog is gold, is big and cute. So what would you want to say about that? It is so much fun. Oh, so much fun. It is so much fun. Oh, it is so much fun to play with. Oh, I like that sentence. How about, remember when we used, over there, we used our pronoun he? Do you think that you can fit that into there? Instead of it? To play with. I think you can erase the and, and he is so much fun to play with. I think that would be a very nice, fluent sentence for the reader, don't you? How about you start from the beginning? I want the same thing as Claire, though. One day, me and my BFF Claire wore the same clothes to school. Good. It was funny, and we sat by each other at lunch, and we even wrote the same stuff. Can we stop right there for a minute? I like how you put, it was funny, and you connected it with the conjunction, and we sat with each other at lunch. Mm -hmm. But you have another and in here. You have a period. So what are you thinking about doing? Tell me what you're going to do before you do it. Oh, what are you doing there? Period. Why? Can you read there for me? Start right there and read. It was a great day to go and play outside. 